bellow. And I know that sounds a little weird coming out of my mouth. I, I tend to have a bit of a rednecky southern twang, and that's an Italian word, so it probably doesn't sound right coming out of my mouth. But nevertheless, bellow is an Italian word, roughly translated to beautiful or lovely. And man, that's a fitting name for this one. Because damn, this thing's a beaut. We have done several espresso machine reviews in the past, being that I am probably as obsessed with coffee as I am with whiskey and cigars. I'm always looking for that perfect home espresso experience. Nice, rich espresso shot, packed with flavor, silky smooth milk steamed just right. Man, that is heaven in a cup. When the good folks at Seattle Coffee Gear reached out and asked me if I wanted to check out, their new espresso machine, the Deletta Bello. I think I'm saying that right. I said, does Dolly Parton sleep on her back? See, Dolly Parton, if you don't know, she has very large, so it's kind of hard to, for her to... Okay, it, if you have to explain it, it kind of loses its impact. Nevertheless, I said yes, without a doubt, yes. I mean, Gail, the whole crew over at Seattle Coffee Gear, I've been drooling over espresso machines on their YouTube channel for years. So it was an instant yes, love those guys. And for full disclosure, Seattle Coffee Gear did send me this free of charge for review and they are sponsoring this video. However, as always, they have no control over the production of this video and my opinions on this review are my own. We will be talking about the good, the better, the bad, the ugly, and all that stuff. Sponsorships never pay for my opinion, they pay for time on the channel. However, spoiler alert, I kind of love this thing. So I don't have too many negatives, but we will talk about some. But really, this thing's pretty epic. The company Deletta is an in-house brand that Seattle Coffee created in collaboration with veteran Italian designers, which if you're gonna team up with some folks to make an espresso machine, Italy's the place to go. Those folks make some of the best espresso equipment out there. I mean, those guys are kind of the gurus. And the first two releases, uh, on their brand new label, not brand new, but fairly new, was the Mio and the Bello, which is this guy we're looking at today. The Bello is a prosumer grade lever actuated espresso machine, not to be confused with like a manual lever, but it's got this, it's this whole deal, which is kind of its own thing, which I actually really prefer lever machines. It's got kind of a tactile thing that I really enjoy over just pressing buttons. As we mentioned, this guy is handcrafted in Milan, Italy with a full stainless steel body and frame. The body on the powder coated ones, I don't think is stainless. The stainless steel shiny model is all stainless. And I think the powder coated ones, the, the frame is stainless, but the body is steel because it doesn't make sense to powder coat stainless, just to make that distinction. For comparison's sake, for you guys that are big into espresso machines and into, you know, high-end coffee machine equipment at your house i would compare the deletta probably its closest competitor would be something like the rocket apartamento very similar feature set very similar size very similar machine however the bella does come in slightly better price point uh, this is about 16.99 and that's about 100 to 200 dollars cheaper than the apartamento from current pricing Bello is what I would consider a uh, fairly compact uh, in size for this style of machine, the lever style machine. Those tend to be a little bigger, so this one's fairly compact. It is 11 inches wide by 17.75 inches deep by 14.5 inches high and weighs about 50 pounds. But at 14 inches tall and nearly 50 pounds, this is by no means a small machine. I mean, you can see it sitting here next to me. It is substantial, it's heavy, it feels solid. When you're locking in the port filter, it holds tight. Average counter height in most houses from counter to bottom of your cabinets around 18 to 24 inches. So you really shouldn't have any issues with clearance as far as that goes. However, it doesn't leave you a ton of room for cups on on the passive heater up here for storage and as far as filling your reservoir without pulling your machine out it might be a little tight which 
is why I always prefer to keep my machine on a part of the counter that doesn't have cabinets directly overhead. It just makes life easier. Speaking of the reservoir, this guy holds three liters, which is above average and makes for less filling and more coffee making, which is always a good thing. It is also removable for easy refills, although I usually just open it up and use a pitcher to refill mine. I think it's just easier. The Bellow is a heat exchanger machine and has a 1.8 liter stainless steel insulated boiler. This means you do have the ability to brew and steam at the same time, which is really, really nice. Pulling shots and steaming milk at the same time does take a little bit of practice. It's kind of like the patting and rubbing kind of thing. You got a lot going on, but it does dramatically speed up the process of knocking out your next pumpkin spice latte. I'm just kidding. Those things are trash. Stop with the pumpkin spice lattes. Go with a Cortado. You'll thank me later. Because this is not a dual boiler, you won't have independent control of your steam and brew pressures and temps, which while for some folks that are deep down that coffee nerd rabbit hole, this might be a bit of a bummer because you do lose a little granular control so you can't fully embrace your inner barista. <laughs> but I mean, honestly though, for 99.9, .9, well, okay, maybe 99% of folks, this is not an issue. Plus at this price point, I wouldn't really expect to have something like that. Double boiler machines tend to be a little more expensive. The Bellow does have an E61 group, which circulates water through it to help regulate temperatures in the group and in the port filter and stable temperatures lead to more consistent results in your shots and your drinks. So that's always a plus. It also has a 58 millimeter port filter which is a full size industry standard. It's really nice because then if you wanna buy extra baskets or different port filters or any of that kind of stuff, it's always easy to find. Also, you can get those big 20 gram baskets, which I really dig. Also tampers, all that stuff. The 58 millimeter full size ones are just easier and better route. So it does come with that size, which is nice. In the box, you will get a nice single and a double spout port filter and you'll get single double baskets along with a blank basket for back flushing the system and cleaning, which is good. Below that, you will have a nice size drip tray. Holds a decent amount, so just like the big reservoir, less fiddling around, emptying and filling, more making drinks. That's a positive. From the drip tray to the porta filter, you have about 3.5 inches of clearance for your cups, which is plenty to fit a scale and a shot glass. Gets a little tight with a scale and like a latte cup, but you can manage it. The clearance is certainly as good or better than most machines I've used at this size. So perfectly nice clearance, I would say above average. Right behind that, you have this little cylinder jobber. That is your solenoid, which lets pressure off the porta filter after you're done brewing and makes for a drier puck. Nobody likes a sloppy puck. Puck with a P, a P puck. Don't want to get lewd and get demonetized up in this piece. <laughs> <laughs> on the left or right or whatever side this is to you, you have your water spout, pretty standard sitch, very nice for making teas and stuff like that, Americanos. Over on the other side, you have a two hole no burn steam wand, which once you've used a no burn steam wand, you'll never want to use another one again. It's so much easier to clean up and also you can move it around without burning your little digits. Up on top, you have your knobs to control your steam and your water variable control. The further you turn them, the stronger it is, the less, so forth and so on. I actually really like these. They're not quite as fancy as some of like the wood grain kind of situations you might see on some of the higher end units, but nevertheless, it's a really clean, nice design. It's got a little Italian writing up on them. I really dig them. Overall, a banger of a good looking unit. Build quality is top notch. You can get it stainless steel, powder coated flat black or powder coated white, flat white. Uh, I had to go with the murdered out flat black. I think it just looks as my British friends would say, the dog's bollocks, which is kind of funny because you wouldn't automatically think the dog's bollocks would be good, but it is, and it does. This thing's badass. This thing in matte black with those shiny chrome accents, got a little laser cut badge down here in the name, which is really nice. Yes, please. It just, in use, this thing runs like a scalded dog. Now see, there's another one of those weird sayings, this time of the Southern variety, but nevertheless, why are people scalding dogs? Poor puppy. 
I really enjoy using this machine. I have pumped out some of the best espresso drinks I have ever made since I've been testing this guy out. All the controls are well made and solid. It also is quieter than most of the machines I've used, which I think is due to I've, I've read or saw somewhere that they, they put the motor on some rubber gaskets of some type, which is really nice because it does seem to be noticeably quieter than some of the other machines I've used. The cup area on top does a great job of warming your cups up if you give it sufficient time. Anytime you have one of these passive warmers, you have to give it a while to get your cups, but it does do a good job and it's nice and roomy so you can fit some uh, good amount of cups or some big latte glass cups up here. The cup guard around the top is all metal, which is really nice because strangely some companies make this out of plastic, which is kind of shitty. This is all metal, which is really nice. The steam arm works great. It has more than sufficient steam power. This thing will heat six ounces of milk from like refrigerator temp up to temp in like maybe 10, 15 seconds. I mean, it's, it's fast. It's got some pressure on it. And if you have good technique, you can produce some fantastically silky smooth textured steamed milk drinks. And I say you have to use good technique because when you have that amount of steam pressure, the milk heats up fast. So you kind of have to know what you're doing or you'll overheat your milk before you get the texture right. Now, this isn't a negative of this machine. That's very standard with a lot of these higher end machines. The, the higher steam pressure is made to be able to heat that milk fast and incorporate the bubbles and do all the things much faster so you can get through drinks, but it does require a little practice to get it right with that much steam power. But once you get it right, it pumps out the best quality steam milk you can get. It's just, it's a different level. It's fantastic. The reservoir has a nice door, which sounds silly and doesn't seem like a big deal, but a lot of the machines I've had, this actually comes off and it's like a little thing you have to mess around with. So even though that's a small touch, I dig the fact that it's a door. I don't, I don't know why I like that so much, but I do. <laughs> the gauge on the front here, on the top, you will get your boiler info. And then on the bottom, you get the pressure at the brew head, which is nice for like verifying stuff when you're dialing in shots. A lot of the other machines I've used, it's just a single gauge and it gives you boiler info, which is, it's okay, but it's kind of useless. I really like the, the dual. It kind of gives you more idea of what's going on. You have a light at the top over there that lights up when your boiler is heating and turns off when it's at temp. So that kind of lets you know what's going on. The unit's boiler will heat up when you turn it on from cold. And I'd say around 13 14 minutes and uses most of its energy during that time. So if you're going to make several drinks throughout the day, it makes more sense to just leave it on. It uses less energy to keep the boiler at temp and kind of maintain that temperature than it does to heat it all the way up from cold. And it will also save you some time to wait for that, you know, 13 to 15 minute warm up time if you want to make a drink. Now, that being said, if you're going to make a drink in the morning and not again until four or five in the afternoon, it might make more sense just to turn it off and return it back on. But if you're making drinks throughout the day, I would just leave it on. Like I said in the beginning, this is an unbiased review, so that brings us to the cons of this machine. One, there's no auto, there's no auto on or off on this machine. So no timing it to come on in the morning before you get up so you don't have to wait 15 minutes for your first cup. You could maybe plug this thing into like an external device of some nature that could turn it on and off for you, but there's no built-in onboard functionality for that. Number two, no shot timer which a lot of them you know when you turn when you flip uh the, the lever up it starts a shot timer so you can time your shots this isn't a big deal for me my scale has a timer so i don't care but it is something to be aware of this unit also has no pid for adjusting your brew temps or kind of you know managing your brew temps there is a little surfing going on but for the most part if you've had the machine on for a while if you just lift that lever up and let it run water out for five to ten seconds or so before flush some of that super hot water out a little bit of practice you'll have it dialed in you won't have any problems at all now these are pretty small gripes and honestly at this price point they aren't things that i would necessarily expect also these aren't things that really bother me in the least but in order to make an informed decision you have to know all the facts and that's what we try to do here with these reviews my goal is to give you all the info and then let you do what you will this is probably my favorite machine that i've used so far i know you guys are gonna be like whatever but i'm just being honest. I've had definitely machines with more bells and whistles, but there's something nice about the clean simplicity and design of this machine. Like I said, I've made some of the best drinks I've ever made since I've been testing this guy. It's, I don't know, my drink, it just seems like the drinks come out better, easier. I don't have to work as hard to make the drink good. And at the end of the day, isn't a good drink really the most important? It's been a joy to use. It's really well made. It looks the business, I mean, come on. And it comes in at a good price point, especially for machines in this category. I'm not here to tell you what to buy. 
I'm just here to give you the info so you can decide if this is something you might want to spend your hard earned scratch on. If it is, as always, I will include links and info down below. And one last time, I want to thank the folks at Seattle Coffee Gear for partnering up on this video. I've been watching, like I had mentioned at the beginning, I've been watching the Gale and the guys over at Seattle Coffee Gear for years. I always go there when I need to look at coffee equipment I'm into and stuff like that. So definitely go check their website, check out their YouTube channel. Lots of good info. I think that is about it on the D Deletta Bella, Bello, not Bella, Bello. But we do have to draw a winner last week's giveaway. Oh, we're going to do a new giveaway. Actually, do we do, should we do the winner first or should we do the giveaway first? Let's do the winner first. Let's do the winner. No, let's do the, let's do the giveaway first. So no, let's do the winner first. <laughs> Let's do the winner. Random picker. See who we got this week. Jeremy Proctor. Awesome video. I have been wanting to make some ranch water for a while now. Seems like it would be a nice refreshing drink to have by the pool. Well, Jeremy, you're right. It is a nice refreshing drink and congratulations. You are the winner. You guys know the rules. We've been trying to get rid of the scammer. So uh, you will, Jeremy Proctor will be the only guy getting a comment. Anybody else gets anything. It's a scam. We will be notifying you in the comments down below, Jeremy, just make sure it is from me and it will be a verified account. It'll have a little check next to it. If it's anybody else, it's a trap. I think last week's giveaway was a free shirt. We released some new shirts and a box of tees. I think that's what it was. So this week, what are we going to give away this week? This week we will give away. I think I've got some new flasks. This is the old one. Um, the new one is a little bit different. It's almost exactly the same. The cap is a little different and the, the logo on the glass part of the flask in here is different, but yeah, we got some new flask dropping soon and, um, I'll give out one of those guys. So a new, glass whiskey flask will be the giveaway this week so again as always we will announce the winner we'll draw the winner live in the next uploaded video i do and the rules are as always you have to be a subscriber to the channel you have to uh, like the video and comment down below hashtag let's do hashtag deletta bello because that's the uh, machine we were talking about today. Hashtag, give me that caffeine. So yeah, hashtag, Deletta Bello, hashtag, give me that caffeine, and we'll draw it in the next video. We'll draw a live winner. Flask, giving away a whiskey flask. I think that wraps this one up, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are out looking for an espresso machine or you've been shopping, hopefully this gave you a good choice, something to look for. I'm not gonna lie, when people come over and they see this thing, they're like, holy shit, that thing is badass. <laughs> so anyway, hopefully this video was entertaining and maybe gave you some good info. If it did, feel free to smash that like button. That always helps us out. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. We'd like to have you on board. I hope everybody is having a fantastic week. And we'll see you in the next video. I'm telling you, if I've, I've mentioned this in multiple videos. If you've never made a Cortado, you owe it to yourself to try one. They're delicious. And this guy right here makes a banger of a Cortado. Bang! Cortado. Excellent. I'm going to go make one right now.